Hi guys. Hey, it's Angie with Feisty Butterfly Tarot, and today we are doing a reading that is just a shout out for Harmony. It's um, following the back of my Mimi the Rude Reader, so if you haven't seen that and you need a good laugh, that's me laughing at myself, playing and being silly. This one's a little more mellow and more about um, how do we get back to having a little more harmony in our world right now. Um, I'm doing the Wisdom Walk with my grandma on this, and thinking about her, thinking about all the time that I spent with her as a child, and how warm and comforting it was at her place. And we would frequently go walk down the lane to grab mail for her or with her, or we'd go out in the garden with her. She had a long, long lane. And so I thought we're gonna do a spread in honor of that. So first we're gonna do a what do you see? And what do you feel? The lesson or the blessing, what to look for, and what's our next move. All right, let's take a look. We're reading from the Crow Tarot, Queen of Pentacles, very Virgo energy. Um, what do you see? The Queen of Pentacles is always good at using what she has, whatever that might be, and using it to the best advantage in a practical way, making things look great, knowing what her resources are, and how to use them and take care of the home and hearth. And that's very, very much um, the spirit of what my grandmother would say. She would say, use what you have. She was, she was a master at taking something small or something that maybe needed fixed up a little bit and making it beautiful. So that's what this is. This also is about reigning and realizing your role, realizing your place and also your value, realizing that even though there's this time where everybody's contentious and some of us are having hard times, that we still need to believe and remember who we are, remember our worth. Okay, next out, what are you feeling? The Page of Wands. This is a very squawky bird calling out, a very fiery energy that's just squawking, a lot of noise. This one's in reverse, and it's like, ah! But anyway, you slice it, the wands is calling out, calling for attention, lots of fire energy, lots of excitement, but lots of noise. And there is so much going on right now in our country, in the U.S. here, that it is just crazy. The world is not on fire. The bird is calling and saying, let's do something creative together. If we could figure out a way to work together and come together, what, what great things we could do. Next out, we have the Nine of Pentacles. Very Pentacle heavy read here. Nine of Pentacles is about independence. It's about luxury. It's about establishing your own sense of value, doing things and moving forward till you have that craft, that skill, that garden growing, really. I mean, often you'll see the woman in the garden with a falcon on her arm, ready to go and check things out. There's a patient skill to having a falcony. This has the crow and the wolf, and they're just sitting together in the garden enjoying it. And the butterfly is there, always transformation for butterflies for me. And you have such beautiful, beautiful imagery. The pentacles are all there. Everything is just calm and flourishing. So don't let the noise around us disturb our peace and the tranquility that we need to have, that we need to find in order to continue flourishing. Recognize the value, recognize what you have. Okay, next out is Page of Pentacles. <sighs> Page of Pentacles talks about offering something, knowing the value, knowing the gift, the earth, and pinnacle energy is all about practicality, material. This could be a gift coming your way. This is in reverse. It doesn't mean that it's a less of a gift. It could be a delay. But get very real about what you have for resources, what you can share. And this isn't just money. This is energetic resources and time. And how do you use what you have? How do you show value to those around you and show them love and show them warmth and make things inviting? And that's, this is the lesson and the blessing and this is what to look for. Look for ways to share, even if it's just one little thing. That one little thing could mean a whole hell of a lot for someone else. Look for things that you can share. It might not be that we're always the one on the giving end or on the receiving end. But even if 
things are tight financially. Everyone has time they can share. Everyone has energy they can give to those who might need it. So be aware. Do what you can when you can. Okay? All right. Next move, the magician. This magician is in reverse. It means don't force things to go. Don't try and manipulate. Don't try and push, push, push. He has all the resources, the cups, the coins, the wands, and the swords. The magician knows how to utilize these tools, knows the strengths, knows where they're at, and honors what each one brings. If you, if you want the power of the magician where you can lift the wand or lift the swords or lift each other, that's when the magic is really starting to happen. And that's what, unfortunately, we've been a little short on of late. My grandmother could make magic out of almost anything. Whether she sent us to the garden to pick peas or down the lane to pick up the mail or whether we were doing things in the kitchen. There was always an energy in her home that it was warm and you wanted to be there. And I think that's what we're being asked to do. That would be the wise choice. We're going to look in the Llewellyn deck, see if there's anything else that we might be able to take as a message. So, ooh. Seven of Cups. Eight of Wands. That's some stubborn cards. The Empress and Death. Okay. All right. This is what we're seeing. Seven of Cups. Too much time of sitting. Too much time with our heads in the clouds. It's time to take action and do something. Eight of Wands. Lots of things are coming in at us. Lots of communication. Time to move. Movement and advancement. The Emperor. There needs to be order. There needs to be structure. In reverse, it cautions us to not be rigid, not be harsh. And then death in reverse. Death is when a cycle is ending and there's transformation to be had. These two decks read beautifully together, just by the way, as a reader. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Whatever this transformation is, whatever this is in this now moment, this um, lesson and the blessing is right here. If we want to transform things rather than just be thinking of, oh, I've got all my needs met. If we're looking out for someone else, if we can share, if we can offer and look for what is being offered and have gratitude, people pay it forward. Pay it forward how you can. If that's let somebody cut in front of you when you're driving, little things add up to more peace. Let's find that. I think that's a very doable thing. All right. That's what I've got for you. Hopefully it's helpful. We'll see you again. Bye.